Hello, kittens. Hello, viewers. Got some good news about about the adoption event. Everyone has people slated to to adopt them. Bobby kittens and Gladys. Let's see if I can get over this one-handed because I'm eating something with another. Uh, ran an errand today. It's right next to Frost Donuts. Couldn't resist the stopping in. It's kind of like a maple bar, but cream filled donut. Hi, Gladys. I figured the kittens get to have snacks and all that, so I need I get something too. Look how good you're doing, boy. Mr. Hand shy himself. Hmm. One second. Need my camera for graduation pictures. Now, as far as the adoption event tomorrow, with everybody having pre-adopts, nothing set in stone. They have to show up by a certain time. And we've had adoptions fall through at the last minute before. So if you wanted to adopt one of these kittens, or uh, there's a lot of other kittens that can be there as well, show up. Meet them. Okay, now we need super cute pictures. Let me turn on the overhead. Hello, handsome. Ali's purring. They're all starting to purr now. Okay. Good battery. Hello, Mr. Howe. Would you like to step up here for your graduation photo? Since you are the Otis, I'll let you go first, but then the other one will be in a random order. Boop. One down. At least don't bother with the graduation photos.
So I always want to make sure that their whiskers are in focus. And doing my eyes and glasses, I always use the auto autofocus, so I take a whole bunch. I see that E. Gaddy's a little wild. Show me how unimpressed you are with me. Okay, Jarvis. Oh, hey, Eddie, you want some more pictures? Kitten tipping. It's like cow tipping, but cuter. And a lot easier. You don't have to go outside. You can stay in where it's warm. And dry. Okay, Holly. Let's get a picture of your curly Q whiskers. Just look, they're cute. I said sit cute, not sit in my lap. Well, that's cute too, but this is the graduation photos, not butt licking photos. But this is basically cat, cat photography, that is what I call the 100 photo rule. You take 100 photos, you get one that you can use. I'd love to get a photo of you too, Gladys. Jarvis is in the litter box. Don't have your tongue out when I'm taking senior or graduation pictures. Eddie, can I borrow Jarvis for a few minutes? Don't bite your brother's head off. It's very mean. Stop being so cute. Yay, you don't have any uh, litter stuck to your butt.
We need to work with getting those hind legs underneath you. Belly. We got a picture of Jarvis's butt flying through the air. No head. And from the cover, a really good last shot. Yeah, probably a good thing you're too antsy. You had a eye booger. Probably Photoshop that out, but bye. And he's giving me a hundred photos. Might have to wait till they calm down a little bit. Oh, Hallow's in the box. He's pooping. Looks normal for kitten poop. Which is good. And he's covering it too. Are you going to be the one kid in the yearbook that has the funny face? Oh, how pooped. Shockwave just hit me. Mm. Everybody else is going over there to make sure he covered it. No dingleberries? Nope. Longer haired cats could potentially have a problem with that. You know, one of my girls has very long hair and she'd be she never had an issue. Let's tire you out a little bit. Let me get your photo. Dizzy will work. He's not dizzy. If you were, Jarvis, if you were a human, your parents would have dressed you up all nice in the best Sunday clothes, and then on the way to school to take your picture, you'd probably see a nice little rain puddle off to the side and go stomping through. Then a quick game of baseball on the field out back, behind the school, sliding into base. Probably if your parents dropped you off at the door, make sure nothing like that could happen. You'd probably still blow something up in the science lab.
Hey, go ahead. You want to come out for a tree so I can take your picture? She doesn't seem to be too hungry right now. I'm kind of wet from the tree. Where you go, Mama? Breaking them up into smaller pieces. This just doesn't get too much of them at once. That's a good mama. That's a pretty girl. I checked her incision earlier and it seems to be doing really good. Oh, look at that. Tail's up now. The way to a cat's heart. Just through the tummy. She's moving it to eat by right by the litter box. So I can't take a picture of that. By the letter box, I mean that right behind her is a letter box in all its glory.
Now tomorrow during the adoption event, I will have a page up instead of watching the room. It'll be a page with everyone's name on it. And it'll either be a red X or a green check mark. The red X means they have not been adopted yet. Their adoption has not been finalized. The green check mark means that it has. And if anyone, if more, more, more than one, if two of them go green at the same time, that means they were adopted together. I can get a picture of your eyes right here. If I can see your eyes. Camera keeps focusing behind her. Go ahead, lay down. Can I leave her alone? Oh, that's a nice one. Nice and short. Jarvis, well, looks like Jarvis is getting tired, but he's laying over there on the wrong side of the fence. You're a lousy model. You know that? You'll never get hired for gigs like this for any shoots.
doesn't have any claws. They're trimmed, that is. That's why you just slid right on down like molasses. Oh, the kittens will be leaving around 9 a.m. tomorrow for their adoption event. The event itself, for the, the actual event with all the kittens, starts at 10 a.m. So if you want to see these kittens show up at 10, the people who are adopting them have agreed to let them hang around for a little bit, at least to 10.30, so that fans can check them out, see them, say hi. Take pictures. The, the kitten events are not just for these guys, but all of them are now 10 to 2 on Saturdays. Every Saturday, if there's kittens available. The litter mates to, the, to Jarvis, Eddie, and Holly will be there likely next weekend. And unless their foster care provider says otherwise, they will be available on a first come, first serve basis. You're Mr. Hard to get, aren't you? Say, hey, that's my shoelace. Okay, that's my shoelace. You can chew on it. My Gladys' tail is hanging down, and Holly's from the bottom level, trying to get it. Good, Holly. You're grabbing me the way you're supposed to with no pointy daggers. That's one reason why these three were brought in with Hal and Gladys. Is so that Hal can learn how to play nice with other kittens. Single kittens tend to be overly rough when they play. If they have no other kittens to teach them how to play nice. That's how kittens learn how to play nice, by playing with each other. They play too rough, and another kitten will squeak, and, the, and then that tends to startle the kitten, that, the, the offending kitten, and they relax whatever they're doing.
Now it's howling there going after Mama's tail. As soon as I pick up the camera, he goes bling. Okay, I'm gonna have to break out the big guns here. I can stand up and use the tall tower. sitting there and I pointed the camera at him and he went boom out of the way. <laughs> I think you can hear the autofocus. See what I got here. Oh, that's a good one. I started taking pictures, I think I was on 90, low 90s, now I got 138. Keep the handy ready in case I need to take a picture. Finally learn how to fall. Yay. Oh, let's do the color acclimation exercises. Now they're all up and moving. Basically, I take their collars and fit, the, fit them to them. At the adoption event, when people are looking for kittens to adopt, we tell them that the ones without collars are available. So once they've been chosen, they get a collar. That includes these guys. So, in order, the adoption event is a pretty scary place, especially for the first time. And if you watched yesterday or previously, having a collar on for the first time can be scary too. So, I get used to one of them. 
Mayor Eddie, you're up first. Sure, your tag still matches. Yep. They were stealing collars yesterday. Eddie goes, oh crap, I remember this. He's a smart boy. Yep, need to tighten it up a little bit. Collars tend to loosen up when worn the first time. So that's not why I did this twice. He's distracted by his favorite toy. Uh, there we go. Uh, there he goes. He's on to me, that's why he's not getting that close. <laughs> but he got too close anyways. Mama didn't raise no idiot. What I do is I make sure I can fit two fingers underneath the collar. And then I give it a, a quick tug here to make sure it can't go over their chin. So they don't get that collar stuck in their mouth. How tends to just sit back and look unimpressed. Okay, your color still fits properly. There you go, sir. Trying to draw Hal and Holly over. Holly is underneath one of my clean towels and Hal is pouncing him. Okay, got Holly's attention. Come on over, boy. Fall into my trap. Oh, his color is likewise black. Okay, your color needs to be tightened up uh, here. Not much more I could tighten it though. That's good. Can't go over your mouth. These are breakaway collars. With the Looney Fosters, one one of the collars loosened up to the point where he was able to get a paw underneath it. And was able to not only get a paw, was able to get it around in his mouth, and then he got a paw in there too. So I was about ready to go over there and rescue him when he jumped and poop, popped it right off. And that's why we use breakaway collars. He's like, I remember this thing being here. Travis is watching. You see how? Here comes Travis. Overall, these kittens have done really well with the collars. Not freaking out too much. Especially Jarvis. Come here, Hal. 
this way. Sounds like right on the other side here. Got you. Now it gets a red buck collar. Get your ear tucked in. Your collar still fits. Gladys doesn't need to have a collar. The collar thing is just for the kittens. You know, guys, an extra benefit of learning a color makes the networks feel so much better. Look at that. This is Eddie's all-time favorite toy right here. It's just a mouse skin, toy mouse. He gets to take it home. Gladys loves these black mice. She gets one of them. Now, our Eddie also gets one of the regular instead of a whole blue mouse. They're just filled with cardboard, so if they eventually wear out and fall apart, 
not going to hurt anything. When I first found the skin, there's like little itty bitty bits of cardboard all over the place. If you come to me, Holly, I'll take that off. The other three kittens, since they don't have any particularly overly favorite toys, they just like toys in general, will get a length of this rope. This one's almost broken in half. So that, that'll work. Yeah, there's a tower out there that they use to get back in that has the stuff glued to it, and they've been unwinding it the whole time. Now I'll get out on the litter bag. I covered it up, and they're in there. Okay, he's out now. One back over, I'll take it off. Actually, you need a little more time. Carly and Jarvis are like, whatever, collar. Like here, that feels good, don't it? So the goodbyes tomorrow will probably be around 8.50 a.m. And I'll be leaving around 9 o'clock. I'll be displaying a, instead of video of this room, I'll be displaying, displaying a slideshow of all their pictures, or slideshow, along with the uh, over, overlay, overlaying being overlaid by their adoption status. Each kitten and Gladys will have will start out with a rent X by their name, which means they have not been adopted. Once their adoption process has been completed, I will turn it into a green check mark. If you see two green X's, I mean two red X's turn into green check marks at the same time, that means they were adopted together.
I discovered today that this toy actually glows in the dark. It's never dark, fully dark in here, so I never noticed. Even between layers, I turn the light turn the light off as I'm walking out. Okay, let me get this twang put together. Don't worry, Eddie will get a bit of twang too. I have some clips up here. Go slower, Mom. I'm curling up the twine to put a clip on it for their bag. And every time I pick up a twine, piece of twine, 
how it was flying through the air, trying to catch it. Now he's stealing twine that I've already prepared. Okay, I'm gonna go prep their graduation photos and post them. Enjoy the kittens. Have a nice day.